grain's going the same way. Happy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Welcome back to the Bunker Workshop. It's great to have you back with us and a warm welcome to our new subscribers. Thank you so much. You are helping to grow the channel and it's an absolute joy to get these videos out there for you to watch. If you are wanting to paint your Patriot a little bit more traditionally, I will put a link to the Rocketry Forum in the description and they're talking about that very subject. You might be able to pick up some tips and links for your project. In part four, the vinyl countdown. Yep, uh, when you've got your own channel, you can make um, silly dad jokes like that. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about covering the rocket in vinyl. Um, some people steer away from that because they think it might be too difficult. It's not. It's fairly straightforward. We're going to show you today. So the object for today is to cover the fuselage and the fins in vinyl. We have to do the uh, tail section now in vinyl because once the fin can has been epoxied, it will be very difficult to get the same fantastic finish. You can see on this model kit that there's one particularly long section of fuselage which incorporates the tail section and I split that into two easy bites. You can see where the vinyl overlaps that it looks very white and either side of that looks slightly darker. That's because the color of the fuselage is showing through that thin vinyl so that meant to me I needed two wraps. So although I've already done one wrap in this video um, the second wrap is going to be exactly the same technique cut the length of vinyl that you need to cover the fuselage and then make sure it wraps around with a small overlap. Ideally the overlap should happen between two of the fin slots. Once you're happy with the line of the vinyl and the pattern uh, put some tape on there, secure it to the rocket at one end and uh, you know you can really uh, adjust this as much as you want. This is just just to get the final line up before you take the backing off. You haven't committed anything just yet. Nothing's stuck down. So this is really making sure you're happy with the positioning. Once you are happy, you can take the uh, backing off the vinyl. And this is the point where your anxiety levels go up because you're outside your comfort zone. You're about to commit to sticking the vinyl down to your rocket. <laughs> These are not SpaceX um, budgets, so if you stuff it up, you can peel it off. Don't worry about that, okay? Just be confident uh, that you are doing the right thing, that you've, you've done your homework, you've practiced, and just go for it. Be confident. You'll be fine. Cutting the uh, the backing off uh, while well, the adrenaline's high and uh, nerves, blah, blah, blah. Um, it would be easy to get carried away, just cut away, and you, you might actually damage the, the vinyl underneath. Uh, so just be careful when you're cutting that off there with the scissors, and don't hurt yourself. Anyway, make sure the rocket fuselage is on a flat surface, and then begin rolling onto the sticky bit. Roll it just enough for it to start sticking to the fuselage uh, and then you can undo your tape. Try not to move the, the, the vinyl around. Um, and then once the tape is undone, you can then roll onto the sticky bit completely uh, without capturing the, the uh, side that you haven't taken the backing off yet. You see how that's rolling forward? Yep, just make sure that you're just sticking the sticky bit. Right. Then you can peel off the remainder of the backing. And I would say leave it com uh, on. Don't take it completely off. Leave leave it on uh, towards the end. So you, you've got an element of control over that as you are rolling onto the vinyl. Look at all of that happening. Isn't that great? You'll be able to see this happening when you do yours. And you'll get the same level of satisfaction of yet yeah, you did uh, everything that you were supposed to do. Um, you'll see waves in it. Can you see all of those little waves in there? Yeah, vinyl's quite user friendly. Uh, you just need to wipe the surface and they'll all go away. Mm, I can't tell you about the mechanism, uh, how that happens. I'm 
not 100% sure. I've got an idea. Uh, somebody did try to explain it to me. But the main thing is uh, nice firm uh, wiping of the surface and all of those bubbles should disappear. It's looking great so far. All right. The next thing is the um, slot for the fins. Very simply, uh, I took a scalpel and followed the line of that uh, slot with the scalpel. And then using the dull side of the blade, uh, not the sharp side, I pushed the edges of um, the piece that I just cut uh, just to make sure that they were nice and flat and neat and tidy. Very straightforward. You can see how the um, carbon fiber pattern looks really nice. Yep, rinse and repeat each slot. And then I did the top section in black and that was that. I would say that uh, while you're still on a high from the successes of the lower end of the fuselage, get the upper part done, use that energy, because we then need to cover the fins. And once we've got the fins covered, then we can start the next section, which is assembly of the fin can. To successfully cover the fins in vinyl, we need to do a dry assembly of all of those parts and get them into the fuselage uh, so that we can put the fins in place. Once the fins are in place, we will be able to mark them up to show where the vinyl is supposed to come up to. So firstly, pop the uh, assembly of the rocket uh, tube in where it's supposed to go. And this will be good practice for you for when you're assembling the fin can uh, for epoxy. So just to make it absolutely sure that you know this section is not, repeat, not to include um, epoxy at this stage. We are merely marking up the fins for the application of vinyl. More diagrams, yay! I like it. Uh, place the fins in the dry uh, mock-up, then score across the fin uh, where it meets the fuselage, take it out, and then you'll know that you need to put the vinyl slightly below that line so you get good coverage, no gaps. A quick way to do that is to cut a piece of vinyl that fits the whole fin, apply vinyl to both sides and then just cut away the bit you don't want using a metal ruler and a scalpel. I'll just play the unedited video of me covering the fins in vinyl uh, so that you can just get a, a real sense of um, just how easy the process is. Doesn't have to be straight. You can, if you want to, Done. Next. Tommy one. Yep. Yep.
Well, here we are at the end of part four. I can hardly believe it's going so quickly. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. You don't know what you're missing. Just take good care of yourselves wherever you are in the world. Uh, particularly these days, I'm not gonna say the word, nope. Anyway, look forward to seeing you on the next episode.